Hey there, Erin at Morehouse Farm here with today's knitting tip, which is how to cast on loosely. We're getting started with the baby booties pattern from Morehouse Farm, and this is super important for the beginning of the project because the cast on edge is what goes around the ankle, which means you need to be able to stretch it to be able to get your foot through it. And it's even more important when it's not you putting your foot through it, you're putting it on someone else, an infant. So in order to make this cast on edge stretchy, we need to do one simple trick. I know a lot of places out there say, and you can certainly use larger needles, but then you need other tools. So let's try this one. With the long tail cast on, remember you're gonna make a high five, bring the yarn tail up between your pinky and ring finger, down between your pointer and your middle finger, back up alongside your pointer finger and around your thumb. So again, high five, up, down, back up, and around. And you're gonna need enough of a tail that will let you make the stitches. So in order to estimate that, what you could do is just wrap it around the needle 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And that helps you estimate how long you need to make 10 stitches. So if I drop that out, remember I've got two extra inches there for a tail, you might want more. Okay, there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on, however I need many I need. Or you learn to estimate it over years of knitting, so I don't even think too much about it. So again, up between the pinky and the ring finger, down between the pointer and the middle, back up, and clockwise around the thumb. Next, we are going to put our needle up parallel to our thumb, so always the same way as the thumb when you're doing the catch. And then you're gonna grab the yarn and bring it back through the same way you went in. Thumb out, pull it snug, thumb back in, counterclockwise. So needle with thumb, grab the yarn that's still attached to the ball, come back the same way, Pull that out. I use my thumb in this right swish motion to help tighten it. So needle always goes the same way as the thumb. Grab the yarn, come back through the way you came, just like knitting, okay? So see how those are pretty close together? Because that's usually what we're concentrating on and that's how you get a tight cast on. But a long tail cast on can be super stretchy if you give it a little bit of room. And see what I'm doing? All I'm doing is holding my finger between the stitches as I tighten it up, okay? Now it's not super tight either. It should be able to slide. It slides easier than those guys do, okay? But up, grab, pull it back through. And with my finger in here again, I'm giving it a little bit of extra room. Move my finger, cast on the next one, and so forth. Cast on, leaving my finger in there. Cast on, leaving my finger in between. And it's just a little bit of space, but see how much more those stitches stretch than these first three? That's what you want. Happy knitting from Morehouse Farm.